from Kassin and I'm Aaron. I'm reporting from Hartland's Academy. We've been taking part in the BBC School Report and our subject is role model. When I hear words like that, I just have to think about them and say, role is a job, it's a way of doing things. Model is an example. A role model is someone who inspires you and behaves in a way that you would want to behave yourself and behaves in a way that makes you feel that you want to be better. So this is an example of how to do something. A person is an example of how to live. The best role models will be teachers, but they'll be also parents. There'll be also people in your community. A lot of good people who are not teachers as well, who will be good role models. And I can think of a lot of people who are, who are very good role models, who are not politicians, teachers or anything else, but they're just good people. That the young people need some wisdom with great experience of life to inf influence and advise them. And I think it's important that we as individuals choose the right role models to help us navigate life. I'm a little bit uneasy with the idea of role models, but I understand that some people can be great examples. The author Daniel Blythe. The one that I grew up with was Tom Baker, who was the doctor from 1974 to 1981. And he was like a childhood role model for me, really. I mean, he just exudes this air of confidence and of peace and of calm. And he's the person you want to have by your side in the crisis. Um, and I think that's, that's a really good thing to have as a, as a role model. That's Midlands Police and Crime Commissioner, David Jameson. I think Hillary Quinn is a great role model because it's a woman who has given her life to politics and to helping people. She works across the world uh, with all sorts of different people, helping people. I, I think she's, a, she's an excellent role model for people of all ages and an example of what you, what you can do. And who knows, she might be President of the United States of America one day. Dr Fiona Reynolds. My maths teacher challenged me and in doing that, he inspired me to be better, not necessarily at maths, but better at thinking. And I think he gave me a discipline to work out how to solve puzzles and how to get knowledge and how to be independent. Writer, actor, Benjamin Zephaniah. Marcus Garvey was a thinker that was around in the 1920s and 30s. And he told black people after slavery to be proud of yourself and stand up. You know, and that. Uh, in previous history before slavery, black people did great things. And I read his work and I was inspired by him. I don't think Marcus Garvey was perfect, but he inspired me to stand up and be a writer and be proud of who I am. BBC journalist Nick Owen. Two people who really struck me, and this is very recent, and someone very young who I was absolutely bowled over by, that was Stephen Sutton. He is the guy, teenager, who died of cancer this year. And he raised millions of pounds when he realised he, he had terminal illness. He went out and raised millions of pounds for the Teenage Cancer Trust. He hoped to raise 10,000 and I think he's raised well over 5 million. And he's gone now. Will Smith. Martin Luther King. Newton. Winston Churchill. Nick Owen. Arnold Schnorschlinger. Margaret Thatcher. Beyonce. David Williams. Lewis Hamilton. Mahatma Gandhi. Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Tiger, Bruno Mars, Kale, Louis Van Gaal. You don't have to like a character to have them as, as a role model. You can admire aspects of a character even if they're not necessarily a very likeable character. I don't necessarily write thinking, okay, this character's going to be a role model. Do you think footballers make good role models to the younger generation? Some do, but some sadly don't. And the ones that don't attract the most publicity. But footballers get a pretty bad press, and, and um, they are just human beings like the rest of us. In many cases, they're very, very young lads who suddenly got an enormous amount of money. and it's quite difficult to cope with that. Um, they suddenly realise they're going to have anything they want and they don't have to stay on the straight and narrow like the rest of us. Boys are five times more likely to have a sportsman um, as a role model. Some of the footballers aren't very good examples of role models anyway. And some are, but some aren't. And I think it's just got out of control, that way out of control. Um, people who become famous purely for being presenters, purely for being footballers, cricketers, showbiz stars, pop stars, they're not necessarily role models, are they? they just have an amazing talent um, in, in terms of these actors and singers and so on. Uh, 
uh, which gets them into the headlines. So people look up to them because they're being told about them all the time. Even when I was young, there were times that I wanted to do a glamorous job. But actually, as you mature, you realise that a glamorous job isn't necessarily the best type of job. Well, it's seen as really glamorous. And you know the sad thing is that they have a lot of money and it's not so glamorous. There's a lot of evidence that some celebrities are very lonely. Some celebrities are very disturbed people. Um, I think celebrities are far more likely to take drugs and alcohol than doctors and nurses say. It's just the glamour of it. I mean, it's all very superficial. It's all very on the surface. Some of these people are really unhappy. Celebrities don't have to be role models at all, but some people become celebrities through being such outstanding role models. There are celebrities who either abuse their celebrity or, um, you know, they're bad role models, but there are celebrities who are inspirational. The young girls need to realise that these figures would also have strong role models in their lives, such as their family and friends. Yeah, the real role models are the people who live next door to you, do wonderful works for charity or go to their church or mosque or whatever it is, their religious centres, and, and spend the whole time spreading good words and good deeds and doing wonderful things. So if you think about it, our mum and dad are role models as well. My biggest role model in my life was my mother. We found out that more than 50% of students look up to their parents. My parents um, took me to the library and you know, introduced me to books. So sometimes there's good role models in families, you'll know that, uh, in your own families. But there's good role models in communities. You might find them in communities or in your places of worship. So you may find all sorts of people are, are good uh, role models. I think there's a huge reward in doing jobs like being a doctor or a teacher or a nurse or a physiotherapist. The reward isn't just in financial terms. Doctors are needed now more than ever all over the world. So we need young people who come up who are good at looking through microscopes and looking at all these things. These are the things that keep us alive. A good police officer should be a good role model in the, in the grid. And, as, and certainly a person, even if they're not a role model, but somebody who should be respected for what they do. Real jobs and real connections with people are what counts, not fame that can be gone in an instant. I would rather that young people are, are inspired by something substantial and not something that's artificial. This is me, Aaron, and Kasim reporting from Harlan Academy. Goodbye.